I've been asked to bring you a thought for the day and I've called it All Different, All Equal. This was the school motto of the big school that I worked in in Newcastle for several years and it was written in big letters over the school front door and I used to wonder when I went in whether the staff and pupils had got used to that or whether they all really did believe in that strap line especially as the school grew and we welcomed more and more students from ethnic minorities. Syrian families came to Newcastle. And also it was a school that had a specialist unit for autistic children. So there was a lot of challenges for us to think about. Now, in Galatians, where Paul states quite clearly that what he is teaching is revelation from God and not his own thoughts or anyone else's, he says in chapter 3 the following words. You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptised into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male or female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. Now that got me to thinking because there's so much, isn't there? in the media and just in our whole culture that is striving for equality. And Paul here is thinking about the context of the culture of the time where some Jews believed that they were the only ones that should be able to be Christians. And certainly free men were the ones that had value. A slave had no value. Women also were seen as very inferior in that culture. They weren't allowed in the synagogue on, except on special days and then only in the gallery. And here Paul is saying that everyone is equal. We're all sons and daughters of God through faith in Jesus. That's what he's saying. All that we need is faith. And this is what sets us apart from other faiths and beliefs. We're all equal because we have that faith to believe in what Jesus did for us when he died on the cross. Jesus himself said, whoever believes in me shall not die, but shall have eternal life. That means that anyone, never mind their race, sex, age, colour, culture, can come to God and ask for forgiveness for sins. We're all born sinful. We can't help it. It's just human um, nature. We're all, we're all sinful. But here Jesus was and Paul was preaching equality. There's more good news. Further on in Galatians 4 verses 6 and 7 it says, Because you are sons sent God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit who calls out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And since you are a son, God has also made you an heir. So essentially what Paul is saying here is that we're all subject to sin and to slavery until we find faith. And once we've found faith and we believe in Jesus, we are adopted into the family of God where we are all equal. We all have the same rights as sons and heirs in God's family. That means that if you have faith, you are accepted as an heir. Are you able to accept that you're an heir to the kingdom? Do you still feel that you're not worthy, that it could never happen for you? Because this is a lie, a total lie of the enemy to say that you are not worthy and that you can never be an heir. Come to Jesus today and tell him how you feel. Tell him that you want to be a part of his family, that you believe that he died for you. Do it today. And if you're already a part of God's family, just think, you're equal to everyone else, everyone else is equal to you. We all have the same rights, to coin a phrase, in the world, we're all equal. We don't need anti-discrimination laws in the family of God. 
And let's just celebrate that fact and demonstrate to the world out there the good things that there are about belonging to the family of God. Thank you.